Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to do another Dinosaur King tier list. Yes, this time we are doing the Water Dinosaurs tier list. So we have all the Water Dinosaurs in the game, down here. And this time I decided to put less tiers in, so we have S tier, A, B, A tier, B tier and C tier. So, you know, no need for me to explain how the tier list works, I'm sure you all know by now, so let's get on with it. Okay, we are going to start with... Ooh, Titanosaurus. Hmm... Now, some of these water dinosaurs I don't know too much about, so I may unjustifiably put them in lower or higher tiers than they really should be. But I, but this is basically my opinion, so... And I'm not always right. Okay, so, Titanosaurus. That dinosaur has 1,800 strength, 300 technique. I need to get my notes out. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I need to get my book out to see what its attack stats are like. I think the problem with Titanosaurus is that it's a peak this crit is a paper, so that means it can't really maximize moves like Hydro Cutter and Futaba Cannon. And if we can see here, Super Titanosaurus is, yeah, it has quite the powerful crit, which is unfortunate for it because its crit is paper, as I said, so, and it doesn't have very good technique. However, it is tied defense type, which is pretty decent, so I'm going to put it in B tier. I don't think it's that great. I'd say out of the silver water dinosaurs, it's probably the weakest. Which is a good indication as to where the other water dinos silver water dinos are going to go. Speaking of silver water dinos, Augustinia. Well, ask, this, one may surprise, this one may surprise you, but that's going in A tier, because Augustinia is really, really good. I mean, compare it to Joe Boria, it has more attack, it has the same technique, it's the same amount of health, and it's a better battle type in blunder type. So, if you pick a dino between Augustinia and Joe Boria, pick Augustinia because it's, it's just better. It's just better than Joe Boria. Like I'm sorry, Joe Boria, you, you're cool and all, and heroic type is pretty good, but I feel blunder type is better. And for the, Augustinia is just really good for a silver dinosaur. Its attack is on par with a, with a Spino. That just says how good it is. And it only has slightly less health and. You know, does that really matter? You know, does it really matter? I suppose, you know, depends on what kind of moveset you want to go with. If you want to go with defense, then yeah, it kind of does matter. But yeah, Augustinia, really, really good. Its crit is rock, so it synergizes well with Hydro Cutter and such. Although, then again, as a downside, you can't use Shockwave if you want to use Hydro Cutter. So that is, that is probably a downside. But if you want want to use shockwave then you need a crit of scissors like amargosaurus does but anyway that's augustinia okay alpha irritator hmm um alpha irritator has pretty you know attack you know the attack stats for the dinos from about 1000 to 1400 strength are quite similar actually they're not that like far apart where so an elf so a thousand strength dino would have about a strength of fourteen fifty, whereas a fourteen hundred strength dino would have a strength of around fifteen hundred. So I'm gonna put Alpha Irritator by here. I'm gonna put it by here. I don't think it's that great, but I wouldn't say it's bad. You know, it's it can use Shockwave pretty efficiently, and it you know Poison type defense type is pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to put it in high C. I don't think it's garbage, but I don't think it's amazing. Okay, Alpha Sukumimus. Now, the thing with the normal Sukumimus is that its moves are very, very balanced, its attacks. However, the Alpha Sukumimus has way more crit damage than the normal Suko. And this crit is Scissors, which is really good for a water dinosaur because you can use moves like Shockwave. And you, and you don't have to sacrifice your powerful crit to do it. So, I'm going to put Alpha Suko in low A, because I do think it is really good. And, you know, its technique does let it down a bit, because it has the same technique as Augustinia. And Augustinia has more health, more attacks, such. But, Suko Mimus, Alpha Suko is pretty good, f and definitely one of the better Alpha Dinosaurs in the game. Okay, Amargosaurus. Again, Amargosaurus is going into A tier. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it above Alpha Suko because it does again. It has w a lot of attack, and it has a really powerful crit, and it's and it has the lu luxury of its crit being scissors, which means 
you can still use Shockwave. You can still use moves. You can still use moves like Shockwave, Aqua Vortex, Aqua Javelin. You know those kind of technique-based moves without sacrificing your crit. And the Magasaurus has a lot of different battle types as well. So it also has versatility on its side. It has an attack type variant, which is really really good. A crisis type, which is decent, and charge type, which is awesome as well, which is pretty good as well. Actually, I'm going to put it above Augustinia in terms of versatility. I think Amargosaurus edges out Augustinia, but these two are definitely on par with each other. You know, I wouldn't say one is... I'd say Amarga is sl very, very slightly better because of its versatility. If um, Augustinia had more battle types, then I'd put Augustinia above Amargosaurus, but purely on the basis that there's only one Augustinia battle type and there's four different Amargosaur battle types, I'd say Amargosaurus does edge it out. Okay, Amplosaurus... Um, again, Amplosaurus does have the luxury of having a critical move off Scissors. However, because it's a gold dinosaur, it won't get off moves like Shockwave and such as often. That being said, mm, I'm going to put it in low A. I feel like it gets, ed it gets edged out by these three. Because its crit damage is not that great. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not great. But, you know, it does have a bit, it does have some versatility to it. And it does have some good battle types in counter type and tie recovery type. I mean, hunter type is not very good. But counter type is pretty, pretty good, especially with, with um, Hydro Cutter. But again, Amplosaurus doesn't have a rock critical move, so you can't really maximize Hydro Cutter. And Futaba Cannon only gets triggered after you, when you win, which is pretty much the worst way to, trig to get a move triggered, which is interesting, actually. Okay, now for the um, Baryonyx. Now, Baryonyx... I, it's going into A tier. I'm putting it into A tier. I think Baryonyx is really, really good. And its moves are extremely balanced, so it doesn't suffer at the fact that it has a critical move of paper, because it can still effective, efficiently use moves like Hydro Cutter, Aqua Jav... No, not Aqua Javelin. Um, Futaba Cannon. <laughs> forgot it for a minute and baryonyx has a lot of different battle types in defense type so you can use you can be resilient with it a counter type which synergizes well with hydro cutter and it has hunter type which is well meh as i said earlier but those other two battle types make baryonyx pretty versatile so you can either be pretty you can either be super resilient with it have moves like defense boost you know recovery moves or you can have an attacker-based Baryonyx and use moves like Hydro Cutter. And if you saw in my tournament how popular the Baryonyx was and how effective it is. So yeah, Baryonyx is a pretty good bronze dinosaur. And definitely up there. Actually, I, I probably put it by you. I think it's I think it's better than Suko in terms of versatility because the Alpha Suko, you know, its crit is quite powerful, so you can't really use moves like. You, there are some ways in which that is a disadvantage, whereas Baryonyx doesn't have that disadvantage. And the fact that Barry's moves are so well balanced means that it doesn't matter that his crit is paper. It can use Futaba Cannon effectively. It can use Hydro Cutter effectively. And it, and it has pretty good technique as well. And it has better technique than the uh, Alpha Suko, so it can move, it can effectively use moves like Shockwave, Ocean Panic, Aqua Javelin if you want to. So yeah, for that reason, I think Suko Mimas is Baryonyx is a high A, because it's... And I definitely would say it is the best water bronze dinosaur. And in fact, probably one of the best bronze dinosaurs. Which is pretty much a safe bet that none of the other bronze dinosaurs are going to be up here. <laughs> okay, now for the easy one. The easiest one in this video, Brontokins. Well, straight up C tier. This is, it's just garbage. It's just dead awful. Worst dinosaur in the game. <laughs> Alright, I did it last time. I'm going to do it this time. S tier. It's, it's the best water dinosaur in the game. Like, it is... It's, it's so good. It actually sees compe real co real competitive play Brontokins. It is just so good. It's versatile. It's got good damage. It's, you know, it's got the armor. It can, it's got high tech. It's, it's just really, really good. And arguably the best dinosaur in the game. You know, people argue that it is the best dinosaur in the game. On the basis that if you match it up against something like Eocarcaria, Brontokins would win because it has the type advantage. But, you know, you deserve the type advantage to me. But, no, I still think e Omega Eocarcaria is the best dinosaur in the game. 
But, you know, Brontekins is on par with it. Make no mistake, Brontekins is on par. Only only outmatched by the technique of Eokarkiria and the slightly more attack. Okay, now for Kamarasaurus. Okay, Kamarasaurus is going into C tier. I, I, don't re I don't rate it at all. I don't think it's amazing. And I don't think it's that good. What I will say is it does have good battle types in terms of tie type, crisis type, and charge type. So it does synergize well with Ocean Panic, if you want to use Ocean Panic. And Kamarasaurus does have pretty high technique. Where Kamarasaurus really falls off a cliff here is the fact that his crit is paper. And that it has pretty high crit damage, which means his other two moves do very little damage. So logically, you can't really maximize moves like Futaba Cannon and Hydro Cutter. I always forget. But, what I will say about Kamarasaurus is it can effectively use Shockwave without sacrificing its crits and Ocean Panic and Aqua Javelin. But, you know, that doesn't really make up for that fact that Kamarasaurus doesn't really... doesn't really... can't really pack that much of a punch as other dinos like Amargosaurus and such. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in... I'm gonna put it in low C. I don't think Kamarasaurus is that great. Okay, now for Satiosaurus. Now, Satiosaurus has a battle type of willpower type, which I don't really know much about, so I'm going to put it into B tier. And I'm going to I'm gonna put it above Titanosaurus, because it does have a scissors crit, and it does have decent crit damage. If it had a crit of paper, then it would be below Titanosaurus, because I think these two attacks are on par with each other, which is interesting. And for that reason, I'm just going to edge... I'm going to say Satiosaurus just edges out... Titanosaurus, I'm just having to double check the stats. Yeah, 750, 450, 450. Whereas Titanosaurus has... Hey, <laughs> no, I'm just shuffling through my cards. Give me a sec. Okay, it has slightly more attack, so 475, but it has the same crit damage. But, Satiosaurus outmatches it because its crit is scissors and it can maximise moves like Futaba Cannon. And the fact that its crit is scissors means that it can also use Shockwave and Aqua Javelin and those moves without sacrificing its critical move. Um, okay, now for Decreosaurus. Now, Decreosaurus might surprise you here because it has two really good battle types. It has Charge type and it has Attack type, which is one of the best battle types. However, it does fall short of the fact that its crit is paper. But I am going to put it above Satiosaurus because the Attack type version has more attack than this guy. And Satiosaurus and um, Decreosaurus has more technique, which means it's has slightly more versatility than Satiosaurus. So I'm going to put the Creosaurus by there. In terms of 1400 strength dinosaurs, I wouldn't say... I'd probably say the Creosaurus is in the middle. I wouldn't say it's the best one. Which means that there might be one going into A tier. <laughs> but yeah, it's certainly not the worst. But yeah, the Creosaurus is pretty good. Okay, Gondwana Titan. Now, we've gone from a pretty good 1400 strength dino to a pretty meh 1400 strength dino. And I'm going to put it in C tier because I don't think it's that good at all. I mean, I may be wrong because I don't know what recovery type does. So I may be completely off the mark here. But, again, I have other reasons for Gone Wanna Titan falling short. And that's the fact that it it has good attack. You know, for it has more attack than the Creosaurus. But, well, unless the Creosaurus is attack type. But the Gone Wanna Titan, its crit is paper. And, well, I'm sure you can understand by now why why paper is a bad crit for a water dino to have. I mean, hell, Brontekins has a crit of paper, but that doesn't really matter because his attacks are more balanced. Whereas Gondwana Titan's attacks are more focused on the crit. So, yeah, you can maximise Aqua Whip, but, you know, it won't be as efficient as, as another dinosaur maximising a Hydro Cutter or a Futaba Cannon. And, yeah, just going to look at it. So yeah, it's pretty mediocre in my opinion, Gone Wanna Titan. I don't think it's that amazing. And probably the worst 1400 strength dino in this game. Out of the water dinosaurs. Which is a shame because it is a little sauropod with a big heart, but... Oh well, never mind. Okay, now for the normal Irritator. I do believe the normal Irritator has a higher crit damage than the Alpha Irritator. And the normal Irritator does have some versatility to it because it has Defense type. I mean, Hunter type, which it's... Pretty, which I said Garbo, Heroic type, which can be good, a bit situational in my opinion, and Warning type, which can, again is a bit situational. So um, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it below the Alpha Irritator. I feel like the Alpha Irritator has a bit more versatility to it, and with the normal Irritator, 
because it has a good crit damage, you want to put something like Hydro Cut or Water Sword on there, which means you can't really use Shockwave on it. Which means you don't want to use Shockwave on it, which is a shame because Shockwave synergizes well with Irritator's high technique. Okay, now for the in now the controversial one, Isosaurus. Because the thing with Isosaurus is that its moves are very balanced. I do believe out of the gold dinosaurs, it might have the most attack, and that's including Brontigins as well. I know it has more attack than Amplosaurus. I believe its crit damage isn't as good as Spinosaurus. I'll have to double check. Give me a sec. Okay, yeah, Isosaurus actually has the most attack out of all the gold, all the water dinosaurs, so it does. So it does have that going for it. And actually, Brontokins and Amblosaurus have the exact same attack stats, which is actually the fewest, and then you have Spinosaurus in the middle. However, where Isosaurus falls short, and I'm sure you all know why, is its technique. It has zero technique. It's really, really bad. Despite the very... Lo if it had... Hell, if it had about 400 technique, then I could probably justify putting it into S tier. You know, because it, it is a health tank as well, because when especially when you use super defense type version. Um, oh, it's a tough one. Well, you can't really use shockwave on it, so you know you're not really sacrificing much if you put hydro cutter on it. And it you can't really use certain moves on it that rely on technique, so it doesn't. So it does lack versatility in that aspect. I'm gonna put it in a low A. I think its lack of versatility really hurts it, but other than that, Isosaurus is a very strong dinosaur. But I feel like these five edge it out on versatility and such. And, you know, look at the Baryonyx's is defense type, so it can do the resilient resilience-ness that Isosaurus can do, but it, it could be more versatile with it. I mean, Isosaurus is a very all-your-eggs-in-one-basket dino. But... If you get all your eggs in one basket and it works, it is really good. But if it doesn't, it you know kind of falters. So I'm going to put Isosaurus by it. I think it deserves to be an A tier, but I don't think it's the best gold dinosaur. And I don't think it's amazing. Like, other than this very strong defense and resilience. And, and attack as well. Actually, I'm going to put it above Amplosaurus. I think it's better than Amplosaurus. Only just. Okay, now for Joe Borea. Now, Joe Borea is interesting because it has a critical move of rock like Augustinia. It has a pretty decent crit damage. But it has less attack than Augustinia. So, Joe Borea, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it by here. Yeah, I'm going to put it by here. I think the Koreasaurus does edge it out a bit. I mean, Joe Bar is not the worst silver water dino, but I wouldn't say he's amazing. I mean, again, his type, battle type is heroic, which is si pretty situational. And it does have a critical move of rock, so you can maximize Hydro Cutter and such. But again, you've got to sacrifice Shockwave and such. But yeah, I'm going to put it in B tier. I don't think it's ama amazing for a silver dinosaur, but it's certainly not bad. Okay, now for Nemectosaurus. Now, Nemectosaurus may surprise you because its battle type is Lucky 7 type, which means it'll gain a technique boost if you hit the button on 7, which kind of negates its lower technique. And it has more, and it has pretty good attack. I mean, but again, it's a dinosaur I don't really know too much about. All I know is that it has a good attack, it's Lucky 7 type, and its critical move is Skizzers. Actually, and it actually has the exact same attack stats as Gonwana Titan, but. Nemegdosaurus' crit is scissors, as I said, which means it can use Shockwave, it can use Futaba Cannon effectively, and it can gain a Technique Boost, which makes Nemegdosaurus infinitely better than Gonwana Titan. And I'm going to put it by here. I mean, it's not a mi it's not the best 1400 strength dino, but it does edge out Gonwana Titan. Okay, now for a Pissacilla Claudia. Now, this one may actually surprise people, because I'm going to put it in B tier. And I think out of the thousand strength dinos, it's the best. Like, the water ones, that is, not all of them. I mean, hell, out of all of them, I'd probably say Apisacilla Claudia is one of the best. Because it has a lot of versatility to it. And it has crisis type and attack type. And if you use the attack type one, its attack is basically on par with like a bronze or hell, even a silver. Actually, no, its attack is on par with a gold if you use attack type. But it has a thousand technique. 
I mean, it, it is kind of a glass cannon of Pissacilla Claudia, but I'm going to put it in B tier. I'm going to put it right by here because it has really good versatility and it's crit is scissors, which really helps it. So you can use moves like Futaba Cannon and such without having to sacrifice Shockwave, without having to sacrifice moves like Shockwave, Aqua Vortex, these technique based moves that are really good. I mean, Shockwave is probably the best water move in the game, hands down. I mean, I would prob I would probably agree with that that Shockwave is the best water move because you just get you just get rid of an opponent's move and it gives you a huge advantage. So I feel like Apisacilla Claudia is really really good, and probably an underrated dinosaur. And in, as I said, in terms of all the thousand strength dinosaurs, I'd probably say the bet one of the best, especially the attack type version. I mean, the Crisis-type version can be deadly, but the Attack-type version is probably bad. Okay, now for Patagosaurus. I don't really know much about Patagosaurus. I mean, I, all I know is that it's crit is rock. I'll have to double-check how much damage it does. I know, it's hard to keep track of all these stats and such. Okay, Patagosaurus. Okay, you have pretty good crit damage. Not too bad. And you have a critical move of rock. And your battle types are... Well, Blitz type, which again is garbage in my tournaments, but not too bad if you play in if you're playing the actual game. And defense type, which can be pretty good. Well, I'd say it's definitely better than Kamarasaurus. I'm I'm gonna say that now, so it's gonna not be in C tier. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna just gonna put it in high C. I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna put it low B. Yeah, low B. I think a low B is reasonable. You know, it has the critical move of rock, but again you gotta sack. If you want to maximize that crit, you've got to sacrifice Shockwave, which sucks. But it can also utilize moves like Aqua Javelin and Ocean Panic to make up for it. So, yeah, I'm going to put it in low B. I don't think... Pa I think Patagosaurus is not too bad. Okay, now for the heavy-hitting tank, that is the Saltosaurus. And, yeah, Saltosaurus is going in A tier. I think out of all the 1400 strength dino, Saltosaurus is one of the best, only to be edged out by another 1400 strength dino, which we haven't covered yet. And why do I think Saltosaurus is the best? Because it has really, really high attack. I mean, for a 1400 dino, if you use the attack type one, it, it, it its attack can surpass, surpasses a gold. And yet it would have double the technique. Yeah, it wouldn't have as much health, but... Like, this thing with Hydro Cutter could probably one-shot a lot of dinos in the game. And I'd probably say the attack type version with Hydro Cutter... It probably could even one-shot, like, a bronze fire dinosaur. That's how powerful this guy's crit is. And if you don't want to use the um, high attack, the attack type version, you always got heroic type, which again is situational, and the crisis type, which can be really, really good. I mean, again, you do have to sacrifice shockwave. But, you know, Saltosaurus does have decent enough technique, so you can use ocean panic, aqua javelin, those ty types of moves to make up for in terms of 1400 strength dino, Saltosaurus is really good, but where I do think it falls short is the fact that it it's kind of is an all your eggs in one basket dino. Like you have to put everything into the crit, whereas the, an, whereas the 1400 strength dino I mentioned would be better than it, has more versatility to it. And I'm sure you can figure out what that dino is, and if you can't, then maybe you shouldn't play Dinosaur Kit. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, now for Shunosaurus. Now, Shunosaurus has a Hunter-type variant, which is meh, a Blunder-type variant, which is really, really good, and a type, a TIE-type variant, which is pretty decent. But, with the TIE-types, it doesn't, you know, it's good if you use Shockwave on it, but its crit is rock, and it has quite a powerful crit, so you don't really want to use Shockwave on it. It does have high technique. Well, I wouldn't say high technique. It does have decent technique. I'm going to put it in... I'm going to put it by here. I don't think it's amazing, to be honest. And I'd probably say, out of the bronze di water dinosaurs, it's probably the weakest. I wouldn't say it's amazing. But I wouldn't say it's bad. Okay, now for Spinosaurus. Okay, the thing with Spinosaurus is it's crit is rock, which is okay. You know, you can't really... Well, you can use Shockwave with it, but you have to get a bit of luck on your side, so... Hydro Cutter and um, Water Sword would be more ideal for it. And it has tie types a tie type which is pretty decent a blitz type which is really good in the um, in the normal game mode and a heroic type which again is situation oh do i think is better than ampelosaurus i would honestly say i'm going to put it below isosaurus i feel like isosaurus is better than spino 
because Isosaurus has more attack than Spino, you know, 300 technique can make a difference, but, you know, it's... Isosaurus's moves are more balanced, so it's kind has a more versatility to it. But yeah, I'd say they're on par. I think I'd say all the water golds are on par with each other. I wouldn't say one is significantly better than the other. Okay, now for the um, spiny Dinotector or Spinotector. Okay, that's an easy one. That's going in S tier. It's not as good as Brontokins, but it is. It's it is, it is what it is. It's a really good. It's a really good dino. It's, it's attack stats are basically the same as spiny, but it has more health, more technique. It's lucky seven type as well, so you know you don't really need lucky seven type. It's got good enough technique to use moves like shockwave, such, and it's crit is scissors as well, unlike the normal spino. So you can use shockwave and maximize the crit at the same time. So yeah, not much to say here. Okay, now for spiny. You know what's interesting about spiny? I feel like out of the anime dinos. I feel like Spiny's one of the best ones. Actually, I feel like all the Alpha Gang dinos are really, really good. And I'm going to put Spiny up by here. I don't think it's as versatile as Baryonyx, but I do think it edges out Alpha Suko. And Spiny is super tight type, which means if you use Shockwave, it synergizes really well with Shockwave. Or you could synergize well. You don't really want to use Ocean Panic on it, because again, Spiny has quite a good crit. Which is Scissors, by the way, so you want to use something like Futaba Cannon. And you can use Shockwave as well, which is awesome. So yeah, Spiny is pretty good. And it has versatility on it. Yeah, Spiny is really, really good. On par, on par with these guys as well. So yes, very respectable for Spiny there. A dino that seems to get his ass kicked by everything he fights in the anime. Okay, now for Sukamimus. And I'm sure you all figured out that this was the dino that had 1400 strength. That is better than Salt. That is edges out Saltosaurus. Not by much, but by very, very little. Because Sugamimus has versatility on his side, because his moves are very balanced. And his crit is scissors as well. And look at the battle types it has. It has defense type, so you can be resilient with it. It has crisis type, and it has blitz type. So it has three pretty good battle types. Sugamimus is just pretty good. Okay, now for the super dinosaurs, and this one should these shouldn't take too long because you know they're all pretty much on par with each other. Um, super Barry, I'd probably say, yeah, up here, Super Barry, you know, say, not really much to explain here. Up here, really, really good super dino, versatile, you know, it, it's, it's just basically a normal Barry, but slightly better because it's a super dino. Okay, Super Camarasaurus, I'd probably say out of all the super dinos, I'd probably say it's the worst one. But again, you know, all these Super Dinos are basically on par with each other, so Super Camarasaurus can go into A tier as well. But I wouldn't say it's very good. Sorry, Camarasaurus lovers, but I don't think these Dinos are good, so I'm going to put it by there. Okay, you are Super Decreosaurus. Again, you know, not much to say. Hi, A. Now for Super Epistocele Claudia, you know. I'd probably put it down by here because. Yeah, I put it above Camara. I'd put it by here. Purely because, you know, it already has a thousand techniques, so doubling its technique won't really do much for it. But it, it will double its attack, so that's pretty good as well. But again, these guys have more strength to them, have more attack to them, and can double their technique over that thousand threshold, which means you basically get off moves like Shockwave every, almost every time. Okay, Super Spiny Saurus can go up here, because again, 600 technique on a Gold Dino is, pretty, is really, really good. And it's almost on par with Brontokins, if you if you really think about it. So I'd probably say, yeah, Super Spinosaurus is the best Super Dino out of the Water Dinos. Which is a pretty good indication as to where all the others are going to go. Okay, Super Spiny. I feel like it gets edged out by Baryonyx because, due to versatility. But, you know, Super Spiny is what it is. Not much to say there. And Super Titanosaurus. This was an interesting one because it has 600 technique, but it doesn't have the 2000s strength and the attack that the super spino has so having said that though it's gonna go by here and that my friends is the tier list for the water dinosaur um not much not much surprises here you know mostly mostly all the super dinos in a tier a lot of really good water dinosaurs i have to say so the fire dinosaurs better watch their tails didn't they <laughs> but yeah that's gonna end this session here so i hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for next time where we'll do another tier We'll do another tier list, probably lightning dinosaurs. And until then, oh, oh, before before I leave, what do you think of the tier list? Do do you enjoy these tier lists? I I enjoy doing them. 
And what would you what would you make different? What would you make different? Are there any dinos that surprise you? Well, leave it leave a comment down below. And until then, this is Drain Your Gamer signing out.